not every day is going to be a sunny day and this is particularly true for the campsies this morning and not every day is going to be a beautiful day with the sun shining and isn't that true in our lives too not every day is going to be one filled with a blue sky many days are filled with grey skies but yet even in the grey skies we can have hope we can have trust and belief in a good God who is with us even in the cloudy days. Our reading today comes from Acts chapter 4 verses 18 to 20. Then they summoned them in again and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John responded, You must decide for yourselves whether it is right in God's eyes to obey you rather than him. The fact is that we cannot help speaking about the things we have seen and heard. Amen. Our reading today is about Peter and John. They were trying to be silenced for their faith. The Jewish authorities were fearful of this new brand of Jewish faith. They were simply called at that time people of the way. This is before they were called Christians. But Peter and John could not be stopped from speaking about Jesus. We're probably all missing the church at the moment, our Sunday worship. And it always delights me when people come out of church and they say to me, I know why I was here today. They were here because they were encouraged in their faith. They enjoyed the praises, they enjoyed the fellowship, and hopefully they enjoyed the preaching and they felt closer to God. Good memories. But sometimes church can be a bit restrictive in that sometimes that's where it stops. At the front door of the church. But God wants us to take that sharing and spreading of his word out into our communities, into our homes. Not to become Bible bashers, but to become people who show the love of Jesus in our lives and make people think and ask questions. What is it about them? Why are they so happy and content with their lives? What is it that they have? And maybe I might just want that too. The early church, but what they did have was they had Jesus, the living presence of Christ in their midst. They had the stories, the memories of Jesus. And this they told and shared with each other. And this is what sustained them. And this is what Peter and John were told to be silenced about. Stop spreading those stories. Stop telling people about this person called Jesus. But you know, when we have Christ in our lives, in our hearts, we can't stop it. It's the living presence of God within us. Why should we stop it? After all, he has given us the gift of life. He is our creator. He created this planet and everything within it. He's also our savior. He came into this world to bring this world back to his father. But he's also the spirit, the spirit living within our hearts. So we can't stop sharing it. We can't stop spreading it. That's why I'm a minister. I believe in the good news of Jesus Christ. I believe we have a message that is well worth sharing. The rain's beginning to ease a little now, so that's good. And you know, the forecast is bright. From tomorrow, things are improving. And by next week, it looks again as though it's going to be sunny for a few days, up to 20 degrees. That's good news. And it's good news worth holding on to. And that's the sort of faith the disciples had. Even in the midst of persecution and darkness and fear, they had the good news of Christ. That better days were coming. And their eternal salvation was secure.